everyone, it's Michelle from You Gotta Have a Hobby and today we're at the LA Wine Fest at Rally Studios. Is it Rally or Rally? I don't know. Rally Studios, Rally Studios in Hollywood, California. And we're gonna try our first wine right now. Here it is right here. It is from, oh my gosh, Rebel Coast Winery and they're really hip and cool. Everything has mustaches on it. And this is their red wine blend called Reckless Love. not too strong you know sometimes you have red wine that kind of like burns as it goes down I don't know maybe it's just that cheap wine that I drink I don't know but it's very good all right Here. now we're actually trying something a little different this is from uh, 101 cider house and this one is their IPC India pale cider it's kind of dry um, I already tried it before we turned on the camera because it couldn't wait Um, it's really light, it's refreshing. It's not too sweet like sometimes ciders can be, so that's cool. I'm gonna try Elijah's too. I'm just drinking everyone. This one is their Cactus Red. Look at that pretty color. Like when it came out of the bottle, I was like, ooh, I like that one. That one's really different. It's kind of tangy, citrusy. A little sour, but the aftertaste has a uh, a little fruity kick to it, so it's kind of good. I like that. I'm not really a cider fan normally, so it's cool to find good ones. All right. This is super good. We finally got to try the grilled it's, uh, cheese chunk. Oh, mac and cheese. It's um, brie and pear and apple, and it's so good. And then they have little tater tots and chipotle. Oh, so good. We have some sangria now. We have both a white and a red sangria, and it's by Effa. And I actually saw um, something about this the other day, so I'm really excited to try it. It's really fruity. It's so good. It's like drinking liquid peaches. And that one's like your traditional red sangria. Super good. I like it. Nice and traditional sangria. Really good for summer. Highly recommend that one. So now we are at the Temecula Valley Wine Growers Association. Temecula is like total wine country right above San Diego. Um, this is the Pinotage. I've never tried that before. It's a blend of um, Pinot Noir and I forget the other one that she said, but it's very oaky smelling. It has a very strong kind of heavy taste to it. Definitely um, kind of an oak taste. And this one is the Cabernet, I think. This one has a, a brighter flavor to it. Not as much oak to it. Really good though. We're at Cielo, um, it's from Malibu, Malibu Estate Vineyard, and this is their Blackbird, which is a Malbec blend. It's really good, it tastes kind of blackberry, definitely fruity, no oaky taste to it. Did you get the same thing? No. Yes. What is this one? Why are you giving me the same one? <laughs> Whatever, I'll think it's two. How does that one taste? Oh, it's so different than the first one. <laughs> All right. So we're at Widell Vineyards, and this is their Pinot Noir, which apparently is their specialty. They like to sell, serve, I tried to say sell, serve it a little bit chilled, especially on a day like today, where it's like 95 degrees in LA, y'all. I'm sweating, y'all. <laughs> Oh, it's so good and, and crisp. It doesn't have any bite to it at all. That's my kind of wine right there. Syrah. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you, this is Syrah. I'm just drinking. <laughs> just drinking. <laughs> that one definitely has more.
more of like an oak finish on it, so this one's my favorite. Red. 